is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs all right scorpio we're going to pull a couple um we're going to do a love reading real quick because of the reading i just did uh i was saying in that reading that i've been having like my energy has been feeling off all day so i want to see what's going on with your love life as well we're not going this one ain't gonna be too long okay i don't really like doing love readings like that anymore i'd rather do money finances wealth success you know what i'm saying i'm trying to chase my paper all right let's see What's coming in for Scorpio as far as love, relationships, feelings, and emotions? Plus, there's so many videos on YouTube about love already. I'd just be like, man, I'm tired of seeing the ex returns. I'm tired of seeing, you know. Okay. What's happening with Scorpio as far as love for this the next seven days? What's going on? What's coming towards Scorpio? What's the energy coming towards? Well, dang. Okay. Alright, so you got this card first. And it says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. That card. Okay, let's make sure. There we go. Then we also have the forgiveness card. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So what I'm getting for you, Scorpios, is, is literally letting go of the past, okay? Letting go of the, the past, accepting this new beginning, this new future here, this new opportunity coming in here. So past anything comes towards you, nope, 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 let it go. Of course, we all have free will, so please pick and choose as you want, all right? All right, what's coming towards the Scorpios for the next seven days, please? What messages or who's coming towards Scorpio? Maybe I should say in the next seven days. As far as love, relationships, feelings, and emotions. We got the lovers coming out in reverse here. Okay. What about this lovers in reverse? We got the four of swords and the star card. I see you healing. I see you healing, Scorpio. That's what I see. With this lovers, I don't really see you interested in love. I don't really see you trying to pick love. I don't really see you... Having any options right now that you, I mean, you probably got people chasing you down because, I mean, come on, as a Scorpio, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, Scorpios are very, very attractive. I'm sorry, but it, it's something about a Scorpios, you know, people be like, that's got to be a Scorpio. It's, it's the, it's the mystery, okay, that people tend to like gravitate to. But what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio, you don't really see any options right now. You're kind of healing. Four of Swords, the Star card, you're focused on your healing. A lot of you are focused on like your dreams, your successes, your wishes here. That's where your focus is. This Four of Swords, you're kind of like chilling out like, hey, look, I'm doing my own thing. I'm resting. I'm recuperating. Um, because, you know, the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. So you've had some type of major heartbreak, but you're just focused on you right now. You're focused on what it is that you want this four of cups here you i mean you're not really looking for anything you may be kind of bored okay an offer from the past may not have came in that you wanted so you're kind of like well i'm just gonna chill out i'm just gonna focus on me right now i'm just gonna focus on my dreams right now focus on healing what else is coming in from the scorpios in the next seven days okay card you would fall now where did it fall hold on now where oh where there it is it looks like the five of pentacles hold on guys and it is the five of pentacles yeah some of you have been left out in the cold you've went through some type of breakup so that's why you're still healing you feel abandoned with this five of pentacles energy let me readjust my bad guys yeah five of swords energy oh oh i'm not liking that give me more about this Something, some type of change. The High Priestess and the Full card here. <sighs> Knight of Wands. Some of you have been dealing with the player. Some of you actually know that this person may try to like come back towards you or you sense it or like you feel it. Some of you could be, sorry, my back is itching. Some of you could be um, a tarot reader or very intuitive as well. You got the High Priestess and the Full. You feel like somebody may be trying to come out of the cold towards you or... You let somebody go because you knew, you knew intuitively that something was going on that you you were feeling foolish about somebody or, I don't know, Scorpio. Somebody could have put you in a third party situation as well, Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, Energy. Somebody put you in a third party situation, you found out about it. Whoever this person was, I feel like they're very childish, very in and out, very off and on here. This person made you happy. 
Some of you have been dealing with two people. Hello, Scorpio. One, some of you might have been the one putting somebody in a third-party situation. Okay? <laughs> Go, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like you've blocked somebody as well. Like, you're not dealing with somebody. You've cut communication from somebody. You've kind of went and cold on a person here. You're focused. Again, what I'm getting is, like, you're focused on your happiness. You're focused on your peace here. What else is happening for my Scorpios in the next seven days? What else is happening for the Scorpios in the next seven days? Page of Cups. Somebody could be coming towards you with a love offering or an apology. Just coming toward for reconciliation. Page of Pentacles. So they may come forward as like a friend, like a friendly offer here. Page of Cups, Three of Cups energy here. But what they're really trying to do, they're trying to like build up the courage to offer you a reconciliation here or a coming together here. They know you're very giving, but they also know, as the death card and the devil, that you done ended this toxic shite. Like, you ain't trying to deal with this no more. They, This person realizes that they can't uh, manipulate you anymore here. Because a lot of you ended this. A lot of you, you know, said, I'm done with this. I ain't got time for this. I'm over this. But you're, you're a very loving, caring, giving type of person. I feel like this is why this person's wanting to come back. But honestly, I, I'm. why did I just say I need to borrow some money? They just said, I need to borrow some money. Somebody could be coming to you because they need to borrow some money. Or they're going through some type of financial hurdle or something. What the fuck? See, that's why I don't like doing love readings like that. What else is coming in for Scorpio in the next seven days, Spirit? Yeah, Three of Swords energy. Somebody's heartbroken. And I feel like the Chariot card here. Somebody's been watching you. Page of Swords, the Chariot, somebody's wanting to come towards you, wanting to come forward here. They've been thinking about you. They think about how fruitful you are, how you, some of you, this is like, some of you, it's your, your, the father of your children, the mother of your children here. They're wanting something to change here, but I feel like it's going to change, like, you're cold. You are cold. They are, they want to come forward, but they feel like it's going to be a fight if they come forward. Because you're cold, you, you've went cold on them. You've cut them out. You no longer talk to them. Y'all could have fell out after. You could have cut them off after an argument. Ace of Pentacles. Well, I'll tell you, why is the money showing up? If this person is coming forward wanting to offer you love, why is money com uh, coming out? Why is money coming out? So this person having some type of financial issue. That's why they're trying to come forward. <laughs> you can keep that ish over there. That's a, I'm sorry. That's all I'm saying. But What else? Yeah, somebody put you in a third party connection here because we got three and three here. Somebody could have not chosen you that with that lovers being in reverse. Somebody could have chose somebody else and you had to heal from it here. You've been left out in the cold. OK, some of you may actually hear that this person chose the other person. That other person left them. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh. I'm not going to laugh. Some of you could have got communication about that or you find out about it. Oh, some it's like somebody could have chosen another person. Now they ended up ended up heartbroken. Okay. Okay. What about this? What about this King of Wands? Who is this? What's this energy about? You got a passionate connection coming in here. Some oh, this is a deep soulmate connection here. King of Wands, Ten of Cups, and Two of Cups here. You got a like a twin flame soulmate connection coming in here. Somebody wanted to charge forward here. It's going to be very unexpected with the Tower energy here with this Knight of Swords. Somebody's wanting to rush in and they're wanting to build with you. Okay, they're wanting to give you all of the wishes, everything you've wished for, that family life that you've been wanting here. Somebody's definitely coming in the chair. Yep, they're charging forward. They clearly know what they want. And like this other fool that you was uh, messing around with. Yeah, they want to invest. They see you as very successful, very independent. This person could be very independent as well here. This king of cups, they want to go like grow old and gray with you type of energy here. They see you as successful and abundant on your own with this nine of pentacles. This person here, king of cups, see they want they want long term commitment with you. They want to invest with you here. They some some of these people, whoever this is, they'll travel to you. They'll come see you here. Some of you could live at distance. Y'all could go on like a um, a car date as well. Whoever this is. Oh yeah, they want. Oh yeah, this person want to build with you. This person, you may actually know this person. This person could be from your pa uh, past, like childhood here. Or they want to create fond memories with you here. They want to, like this nostalgic type of energy. We got the Three of Pentacles, the Temperance, and the Six of Cups. Like this person wants to be patient with you here. 
they want to build, they want to grow with you. Whoever this new this fire sign is, this King of Wands energy, Leo, uh, what's the fire sign? Leo, Leo Aries Sag. Somebody wants commitment, but I feel like a lot of you have been dealing with somebody, could have been an air sign that you cut off communication with, that you no longer want to talk to, that you no want to be. What this okay, what else does this King of Wands person want? With this Ten of Cups. What else do, does this King of Wands person want? They want to give to you. Six of Pentacles energy. They want equal reciprocity. I told you, King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Whoever this is, they want long-term stability. They find you very attractive. Queen of Wands energy. They find you very, like, fiery. Okay? You really do something to them. They're sexually attracted to you here. Two of Swords. They feel, when they're not talking to you, okay, they feel stuck. They don't know what to do. All they do is think about you. Eight of Wands energy, the magician. They they watch <laughs> they watch you. <laughs> Page of Swords energy, the Hierophant. They watch you because they want to be in a commitment with you here. I feel like this person may know what you've went through with this other person. See this Knight of Wands keeps showing back up. This other this Knight of Wands energy may actually see you hooking up with this other person. They may not like it with this Four of Pentacles energy. They may not like this, that you're going to be in a commitment. Okay, so tough titty, said the kitty. Ace of Cups. Now here they come with this Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups trying to whine and die in you and stuff. Okay, so you got Nine of Wands. I think you done with this person. You exhausted with this person, though. Some of you have been dealing with a player. This person has been very in and out. Don't be surprised if this player energy tries to return once they see you moved on with somebody else, Okay. You're going to be over here moved on with this attractive ass King of Wands energy here. Somebody very, and the, normally a King of Wands to me would come off very playerish, but you got this King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which is clarifying not only this person, okay, they may come off, they may have like playerish ways, as in they could have been a player before, but with this King of Pentacles here, that's letting me know they're wanting stability with you. This is a very mature energy. They're wanting long-term stability with you. Now, the King of Wands did used to be the Knight of Wands at one point. Okay? Don't get that wrong. But I feel like at this, this point here, they're looking to settle down. They want to settle down with this King of Pentacles as well. They're wanting to settle down with you here. So I feel like there is a, a, a still a player in your energy, but it's not this person. I'm getting two separate energies here. So there's somebody from your past. That's why they're saying the past is behind you. Let go of the past. This person here, you may think like, oh, you just a player too. You ain't going to do nothing serious. But they actually want something serious, okay? Don't miss out on no good opportunity because you uh, still holding on to the shit from the past. You know what I'm saying? Let that ish go. But I feel like that Knight of Wands energy, whoever that little player, little, 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 little man... <laughs> Little man, little girl is, whoever that is. Because it could be a, a man or a woman. Just a masculine energy. But whoever that is, they've been very in and out of your life. And I feel like you, you're you going to find out that either whoever they left you for, it didn't work out. And that's why they're trying to come back here. You may hear it, hear it through the grapevine, okay? That they were being foolish for leaving you for somebody else. But I feel like they're going to try to come back and apologize. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have chose somebody else over you. But I feel like their heart's going to get broke. Okay? The same way they broke your heart, they heart about to get broke. So, I mean. Because I feel like you finna let them down. Like, I already got somebody, boo. I'm already in a relationship. I don't want no past energy. You know what I'm saying? So, let's end you off with. What message? What? Yeah. What last message you got for Scorpio here? What's the last message you got for Scorpio? Here we go. Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life, okay? So manifest exactly what you want in your life. If you want the little player, take the little player back, okay? Take the little bastard back. But, you know, we all have free will. Please pick and choose as you want. But if you want somebody that's stable, that want long-term commitment, that's what you're looking for, you got that coming in, Scorpio. You're moving onto a steady and reliable path. See, you're, you're moving towards a more steady path. Someone that wants to be committed to you. Someone that wants to give you the love that, the way that you give back. They want that equal uh, reciprocity here. What you give to them is what they give back, okay? That's what they're wanting. And that's what you want, Scorpio, right? If you do, then this is definitely the person for you. Okay, but I do see that little past energy trying to creep back up. That's why they're saying forgive the past, let go of the past here. Because that person still, they still doing the same shit. You see how they kept entering and leaving out of the reading. Okay, still on the same stuff, all right? But this is your reading, Scorpio. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.